flounder right there, y'all. That's a good fish right there. Oh, for spring? Shoot. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. The old Bayou Bandits out here tonight had a lot of people asking when I was going to do a flounder gigging video. So, got my friend Joe out here with me tonight. What's going on, brother? <laughs> ready to gig some ready, flounder. Ready to gig some flounder. He is from the Tennessee Georgia line. He comes down with me a couple of times a year. We're going to try to get on them. We have had a, a lot of wind this past week. Water clarity isn't as good as it normally is when I do a video, but hey, I'm putting a gigging video out for y'all. Wish us luck. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already for weekly fishing content here along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast. Stay tuned for some flounder gigging action. All right, just seen the first flatty. He's way up there, Joe. See? His head's facing us. Yep. Let me see if I can get as shallow as I can and you can get straight down over him. And get up here a little closer. All right. That's as shallow as I can get. Ease down, ease down. Gig hard, gig. You got him, you got him, brother. You got him. Twist, yes, yeah, twist and pull up. That old tail curled up. Good gig, good gig. All right. All right, first flounder. Let's take, let's let, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on. First flounder, that's a spring size flounder right there. He's probably sitting on about, about 15 inches. Let's lay him up there. 14 and a half, 14 and a half. All right, all right. Good job, over the rail and in the pail. Boom. First of many, brother. First oh. of many. <laughs> All right, let's go get on some more. He was real shallow. We've got a slight north breeze blowing tonight. Real low tide due to the north wind we had earlier today. Dead low tide is gonna be in about, about two hours and she's already gone. Beautiful night. It's in the mid 50s. Had a little cool snap last two or three days. Water temperature is still at 70 degrees, which is just right. The old flounder are coming back to the marsh. All right, got another flatty. This one may be a little too small. He's right there. Yeah, he's a little bit too small. Hope y'all can see him real good. I'm gonna, gonna give him a little bump. Send him on his way. <laughs> that rascal is about 11 and a half, 12 inches long. They are shallow. All right, I almost ran over him with a trolling motor. Right under the boat. I was looking way up there on the marsh grass and looked down and saw him just before we went over. Another flounder, about the same length as the other one. About 14 and a half, 15 inch fish. Over the rail, in the pail. All right. There we go, baby. Meet in the box. Meet in the box. Uh, three days ago, we had like 30 mile an hour south wind. Been out of the north the last two or three days. So, we got a little stained water, but we're still able to see the flounder. Uh, you can see a lot better out here in person than you can on the GoPro. But I hadn't put out a gigging video in a while and thought I'd thought I'd get y'all one tonight. All right, gotten a little bit better water clarity for y'all. Keep our eyes peeled. right there boom <laughs> there we go over the over the rail in the, in the pail baby Ooh, that's a good that's a better fish right there that's a good 
Good head uh, shot. Good no head meat shot. wasted. No Get meat wasted. Get here and see how. Let's see what we got. What we what we working with right here? Yes, sir. What we working with right here? Oh yeah, seventeen and a lay down. Seventeen and a half, baby. Seventeen and a half. That's a broiler right there. Yes, sir. Mama wants for dinner tomorrow night. Boom! Ha ha ha! There we go, baby. Good fish. Right in front of the boat with this low tide, those those fish are scattered. Everybody. All this all this marsh is just a big flat. You can see how far we are away from the bank, oh, yeah. and it's uh it's only about five inches of water right where we're at now that's about what this boat drafts and that's about as shallow as we can get all right well we got to keep the head on a right. swivel i know i'm not even looking up i looked up i saw him but i was like you gonna have to pick him <laughs> He'll be under the boat yep <laughs> that's the thing about a falling tide it the falling tide will clean up the water in the marsh because the marsh is a filter and it'll clean it up as that tide leaves the marsh uh, but it makes the fish scattered on these mud flats incoming tide the flounder will face the bank and start nosing up to the bank and uh, they're more along the same depth contour on the incoming you got to scout around and find them a little bit on low tide too small little rat red marsh is full of them inside another one right there under the boat another rat red we're gonna have a bumper crop of good slot redfish by winter there's another one right there and another one right there got one out there at the edge of the light all this bait fish stirred up the water right here you got a bunch of rat reds mixed in with mullet. Another rat red. Another one right out there. Another one right there. Ton of rats. And if you're not from this part of the country, a rat red is a underslot redfish. We call them rat reds. In Mississippi waters, they gotta be 18 inches. These are about 13 14 we've been seeing I've never been really there's your sheep's around. head there's your sheep's head no you're digging the sheep's head it is sheep's head you got him you got him all right oh, mama's gonna be happy. sheep's head baby good head shot too what you told me <laughs> over the <laughs> rail and in the pail good deal Boom! Perfect head shot. Like you taught me. <laughs> Boom! Perfect. Perfect. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Over the rail in the pail. Perfect head shot. No meat wasted. By the best. <laughs> Old Joe knows what to do. Boom! There we go. The best. <laughs> there we go. I knew this would be a good spot. All right, got another one right in front of the trolling motor. That's a nice one. Nice one, probably sitting about 17. Over the rail and in the pail. All right, uh, got a baby right there. Boop. All right. Now we're starting to see some see some action. All right, we passed one. Let's back up and see if we can see if we can find that rascal again. He was buried up pretty good, and I think he's buried up some more now. You don't see him, Joe. His eye. He's facing this way. See that little V. If you don't see him, not no, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Go ahead and stick him. He's right there. Oh, okay, I see him now. See him now? Yeah. Damn. That one was buried up, y'all. There we go. About 15, 15 and a half. That rascal was buried. 
Did, didn't know we'd be able to get that one. Boy, look at the pretty colors on that guy. Oh. <laughs> that one was hard to see, wasn't he, Joe? I mean, I was looking down. <laughs> my laser pointer, y'all, the batteries went out on my laser pointer a while ago. So I couldn't, couldn't show Joe where he was at, and I couldn't show y'all where he was at. Yeah, we had a, we were looking at that one and a big one took off. So we found a little, yeah, we found a little hot spot right here. Maybe we can get on that big one. If y'all want to come out on one of these flounder gigging or saltwater bow fishing charter trips, I run trips every Friday and Saturday night along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast. Give me a call right here at this number 251-465-1598 my website link is down in the description below give me a call we'll get you hooked up and booked up it's a good trip for the family and friends get out here enjoy the marsh at night see things you normally don't get to see in the daytime and we'll gig some flatties clean them up for you and you'll have some good eating yep there you go Good one. There you go. Got another one. Got another one. Perfect. Not bad at all. Over the rail and in the pail. Starting to put together a little box of fish. Oh, that's a nice track right there. That's a nice fresh track. Be on the lookout. That flounder can't be far from here. As fresh as that track was. I gotta get that one. That's a big one. That's a big one for the spring. That's a big one. That's a whopper. That's a big one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to adjust that trolling motor where you can get up here on the front with me. That's a big one right there. 20. Ooh. 20 inch flounder right there, y'all. 20 inch for the spring. That's a fine fish. Boy, when I seen him, I was fixing to go over him. That's a good fish right there. That is a toad right there. For spring? Shoot. I don't get much bigger than that. That's a 12 and a half right there. Foot. 20 inch. Door mat. Spring door mat. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get 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 up here even with me i'm gonna let the troll motor up a little bit where it ain't in the mud and you can get up here with me there's your chance get him hold him down hold him down let me let me ease up there too i'll get another gig in him hold him down I think you got him pretty good, Joe. He's up. Yeah, you got him. You got him. You got him. Yeah, you got him. Yep. There you go. There you go. Nice and nice and good gig. <laughs> we putting together a box of fish. Over the rail and in the pail with the old red. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we got the inshore I, slim. I should have turned my damn camera on. I wasn't thinking <laughs> that all the time in the world. Yep. We had him. I stopped the boat and he's like, uh oh, what's going on? <laughs> all right, found another flatty. Yep, right there. Head facing towards the back of the boat. Let me get you a little closer where you don't scoot on us. 
right. He he heads, yep, yeah, heads on this side. Yep, yeah, ease out. There you go. Twist and pull. You got him. You got him. Got another. There we go. About 14. I think there is one right in that. I don't know if it is or not. Yep, I think it is. Right there. <laughs> Got another one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish right there. Nice one. <laughs> you didn't see him, did you? I never saw him. <laughs> I didn't think you did. <laughs> I never saw him. <laughs> All right. You're putting together a meat haul. Yes, sir. You see him, he just bedded in. Uh, uh, to get him because he's buried in. I got be right. Right there. <laughs> he was buried up good, brother. <laughs> Here we go. Get him. Get him. Yep. There you go. Twist, twist your gig, rotate your gig, pull up. Get him in the boat. There we go. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boom. Boom. Got the old five star lights from Victor McNew. These are the 2200 Kelvin 12 volt 50 watt LEDs. I'm running 14 of them. 12 in the front. Got two back there in the back. And they do a real good job. If you're looking for any flounder gigging of bow fishing lights, I'll leave the link below to five star LEDs. Give old Victor a call. He'll get you hooked up. And as you can hear, there is no generator at all on my boat. I run all these lights, everything on this boat, trolling motor and all with the ionic lithium batteries. These batteries are Bluetooth batteries. They've got an app on your phone. You can see how much charge they have left in them, cycle times. Uh, great batteries. They've got an 11-year warranty. They only weigh 30 pounds a piece. I've uh, been using them for about close to two years now. Absolutely love them. Uh, I'll leave Performance Fishing Electronics link down in the description below if you're interested in getting you any batteries. I highly recommend them. They have served me well running these trips and we're out here you know two three nights a week on the weekends running these trips look at there look at that sheet <laughs> that's a good one right there yes sir ha 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 happy Gotta make mama happy. Mama likes him cheap. Woo, look at that meat haul. Let's lay them all out where y'all can see what we got. All right, we are back at the launch. Had a good night. What do you think about it, Joe? You have a good time? Excellent time. Always <laughs> a good time. Always a good time when you Always. come down to visit me, brother. Got some nice ones. I think we ended up with 14 flounder. Uh, got one 20 inch doormat. That's awesome for the spring. Smallest one's 14 inches over there. Uh, the size limit in Mississippi waters is 12 inch minimum. Uh, and you're allowed to gig redfish in the state of Mississippi. So got a couple of sheep's head, some nice flounder. We got some for bacon and stuffing. Got some fillets. Beautiful night out here in the bayou. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. If you didn't get to see me in the bayou, you can see me right here on Bayou Bandit Charters every Sunday morning, 9 o'clock. Thank y'all. See y'all next week.